Litha, also known as Midsummer or the Summer Solstice, is the celebration of the longest day and shortest night of the year. This is a time to recognize and give thanks to the sun for its warmth and light. The earth is a wash of fertility and fulfillment, and this is a time of joy and celebration. Litha is a fire festival and is celebrated on or between June 20th and the 24th, depending on where you are. There are many ways you can celebrate this beautiful day. Feel free to use these suggestions that resonate with you or fit best into your life and practice. Litha, or Midsummer, is all about celebrating the sun. Incorporating the element of fire in your spells and rituals can add powerful energy. Celebrating with a bonfire is a beloved way to welcome in the warmth of this day. If you can't celebrate with an outdoor fire, you can light a fire in your fireplace or light candles. Another way to celebrate is to honor sun gods and goddesses. You can honor sun deities with offerings, rituals, and prayers. Litha is also a great time to perform spells and rituals associated with fairies and the fair folk. Midsummer's night is a perfect time to leave them offerings of milk, bread, honey, or any type of sweets or berries. Working with any plants and herbs is a great way to celebrate midsummer. You can make herbal candle wreaths with fresh herbs from your garden. Harvest and dry fresh herbs to use for the coming year or to make nourishing herbal teas. Getting outside is a beautiful way to honor this day. You can go for a beautiful, long nature walk and look at all of the plants around you in your neck of the woods. You can also get up with the sun and watch a beautiful sunrise or lay outside and try cloud scrying. This is a wonderful time to celebrate with a feast, picnic, or barbecue. Add citrus into your meals and beverages, along with fresh fruits and vegetables. Bake sun cakes to celebrate with a sweet treat, or make a solar energy sun tea. Crafting is another fun way to honor this time of year. You can create a beautiful mandala using fresh plants and flowers, create your own sun catchers, craft flower crowns out of flowers and plants from your garden, and craft a page dedicated to midsummer in your Book of Shadows. Create a beautiful altar or decorate your home with candles, fresh or dried flowers, crystals, or anything that represents summer to you. There are a lot of things that correspond with Litha. These are just a few general ideas to get you started, but this is by no means an exhaustive list. The colors that correspond are blue, gold, green, red, white, and yellow. Some of the animals that correspond with Litha are bumblebees, butterflies, cattle, horses, sea life, and wrens. The plants associated with Litha are basil, calendula, daisy, chamomile, lavender, mugwort, sunflower, and roses. The incense that corresponds with Litha is cedar, clove, lemon, mint, myrrh, orange, pine, rose, and sage. The crystals associated with Litha are amber, carnelian, citrine, diamond, jade, yellow tourmaline, and topaz. The foods and drinks that are associated with this day are any fresh vegetables, 
rum, honey, barbecued foods, ice cream, red wine, herbal breads, and chicken. I hope you all enjoyed this video on the general idea of what Litha represents. There are many ways to celebrate this beautiful day, and this video is just to give you a few suggestions to get you started. I hope you all have a magical day and a beautiful summer solstice.